Welcome to the Intermunicipal Development Plan between the City of Cold Lake and the MD of Bonneville. An Intermunicipal Development Plan, or IDP, is a collaborative planning policy document that is prepared by two or more municipalities. It provides a framework for managing future use and development of lands near the City and MD municipal boundary. In this presentation, we will outline the key policy directions contained in the draft IDP which can be found on the MD and City websites. Your feedback will help refine the plan before it goes to the City and MD Council for approval. The current IDP was adopted in 2009. A rewrite is needed to meet the new requirements of the Municipal Government Act, reflect the recent Cold Lake annexation, review and update the plan's land use areas, update the City's long-term future growth areas, Identify future development opportunities for the MD of Bonneville. Update the plan's administrative and dispute resolution processes and maintain consistency with the City of Cold Lake Municipal Development Plan that is also being reviewed, the MD of Bonneville MDP, and the approved area structure plans. In addition to protecting the City's long-term future growth areas and providing development opportunities for the MD, the purpose of the IDP is also to identify and protect environmentally sensitive areas, establish a collaborative approach between the city and MD respecting land use, transportation, and municipal services, confirm lines of communication and update protocols between the MD and city, and provide an equitable and efficient dispute resolution process. Now, let's turn to key themes of the updated IDP. First of all, the IDP plan area is unchanged and the land use concept has been simplified. The policy content has been updated and reorganized. Updated future growth areas for the city are based on a growth study that was prepared for the city's annexation application. Any future annexations will be dependent on demonstrated need based on technical review, the strategic needs of the city, and open communication with the MD and affected landowners. In addition, some policies are based on the MD and Town of Bonneville IDP for consistency within the MD. Now, let's look at the IDP's future land use concept. It consists of future growth areas for the city, for both residential and industrial growth, shown in pink dashed lines, country residential development areas, shown in yellow, industrial development areas, in purple, recreational lands, in teal, environmentally sensitive lands in green, agricultural lands in orange, and former landfill and buffer areas in brown. We will review these more in detail in a few moments, but first we will go through some of the more general development policies of the plan. First, if a matter is not addressed in the IDP, the policies of the MD's Municipal Development Plan and any area structure plans that are in place will apply, and if an ASP exists, then the policies of the ASP take precedence. An ASP will be required prior to the approval of any subdivision in a future growth area or industrial area if the subdivision exceeds four parcels and a total of eight hectares, if a subdivision exceeding four parcels is proposed in a country residential area, or if an ASP is required by Alberta Transportation. If a subdivision in a future growth area triggers an ASP and the city decides not to annex the land, then the ASP will need to show how the development will be integrated into the city's transportation network, servicing systems, and land use pattern. Lastly, any ASP required by Alberta Transportation will need to address highway access. Now, let's look at the city's future growth areas. The policies of the IDP are designed to protect these lands for future growth, but some development is allowed in advance of annexation. These developments include subdivisions of four or fewer lots, residences, home-based businesses, public uses and utilities, recreational uses, and any other development that the MD and City agree would be of mutual benefit. In addition, any land required at the time of subdivision for municipal reserve, land required for parks and open space, will be deferred so it can be developed by the city after annexation. 
Now, let's look at country residential policies. Any country residential area located in a future growth area will transition to city residential development if it is annexed. New country residential subdivision may be considered in a future growth area provided that an ASP is prepared by the developer and that it be connected to municipal water and sewer services as required in the MD's country residential estate district. Lot sizes need to meet the MD's requirements based on the water and sewer services that are proposed. These subdivisions are to be laid out in a cluster form in the interests of land use efficiency and minimizing the fragmentation of land. Lastly, landscaping, buffers, and or fencing will be required along lot boundaries located adjacent to agricultural or non-residential uses. Next, let's review the IDP's industrial development policies. As is the case with country residential development, Industrial areas located in the future growth area will transition to city industrial development if annexed. All industrial development is required to meet the requirements of the MDs MDP and LUB prior to being rezoned to the applicable land use district. Adequate buffers or transitional land uses are to be maintained between industrial and non-industrial uses to reduce the chance of land use conflicts relating to noise, vibration, dust, odor, environmental hazards, or other factors. In addition, new residential development is to be directed away from active resource development sites so the extraction of the resource is not hampered. Turning to agriculture. Land located in the agricultural policy area will remain in agricultural use. Any subdivision proposed in these areas will need to meet the MD's MDP policies and the requirements of the MD's agricultural A district. No country residential subdivisions in excess of four lots will be allowed in these areas. All existing agricultural operations will continue, and the city will support the continuation of existing agricultural uses until such a time as the land is converted to urban use. In accordance with provincial legislation, if new non-agricultural development occurs in these areas, the MD will notify applicants that these areas are supporting agriculture and that agricultural operations have precedence over other forms of land use. Lastly, no confined feeding operations will be permitted in the IDP area. Now, let's look at the policies related to annexation. If the city pursues annexation, only land identified as a future growth area will be looked at and will be based on specific criteria. Specifically, any future annexation will need to conform to provincial, and municipal legislation need be justified by a growth study demonstrating the need for additional land based on a 20-year supply. Be supported by landowners as much as possible. Represent a logical extension of existing development and infrastructure. And be cost-effective for the city and MD. The IDP also sets out triggers for future annexations, namely that the land is required for the city's future growth, if annexation is initiated by a landowner or developer, when development occurs in the future growth area that exceeds the IDP's development allowances, or if land is required to complete a proposed transportation or utility corridor. Lastly, the IDP addresses matters relating to the administration and monitoring of the plan, including a mandatory review every five years, which is a requirement of the Municipal Government Act. Roles and responsibilities for development approvals and appeals have been clarified. The IDP Committee, which is a requirement of the existing IDP that was not implemented, has been eliminated. The processes for intermunicipal referrals has been expanded, updated, and clarified. The plan establishes a process for the circulation of applications to landowners across the municipal boundary and the dispute resolution process has been updated to make mediation optional, not mandatory. Thank you for your interest in the City of Cold Lake and MD of Bonneville Intermunicipal Development Plan. Please remember to visit the project webpages to fill out the online survey and read the draft plan. Your feedback will be used to further refine the Intermunicipal Development Plan before it goes to the City and MD Councils for approval.